today we're reacting to Theo Vaughn for the very first time. Some jokes that are out of this world. A very big shout out to our sponsors for today, Temu. Temu has a lot of cheap and good quality electronics. I personally use Temu for electronic shopping. And why not when I can get a visual doorbell for $14, a wireless headset for as low as $8, smartwatch for as low as $14. If you use the link in the description below or the coupon code in the description below, you're going to get a £100 coupon bundle and 50% off your first orders as a gift. Don't forget Temu, the ultimate shopping app. Now let's get right into the video. Teacher would teach us something real good. You know, I remember, or in class, sometimes the teacher would teach us something real good. You know, I remember one time they said lightning. They said lightning uh, was made up of the same stuff that a rainbow was, and um, and I, I, it was hard for me to understand. And then, and then the teacher yeah. said that li that lightning was just an angry rainbow. And I fuck, dude, I stood up on my desk and took my damn shirt off, bro. You know, and I damn saluted that shit, that fact that that teacher was filling me with the facts. Back in the day, we didn't have. <laughs> clothes on all the time that's true who invented clothes can you look it up <laughs> some fucking idiot probably <laughs> that's what i'm saying my friends are alcoholics <laughs> and i'm competitive <laughs> so i have a couple tequilas right and tequila let's be honest like pour mexico right into your body okay <laughs> i mean make you jump a fence make you buy a gun make you run across a highway with your family Make you knock a woman up. Make you knock a woman down, okay? <laughs> Olay, Janet, you know? Dude, I got jumped one time after a football game by five black dudes. I don't know if you ever fought five black dudes at night. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine you're fighting five black dudes, right? Now close your eyes. <laughs> now how many black dudes are you fighting? As many as your imagination can hold. <laughs> I wish I had a grown man f***ing this when I was 12. Do you? What? Kinda. <laughs> I wish I had a grown man's f***ing this when I was 12. Do you? What? Kinda. Oh, you don't want Just that, man. I had that. You had that or you have it? I had it as a child. And you were enlarged... cracking as a child? Yeah, did you know that? <laughs> How the fuck would I know that? Is outer space gay or straight? Okay, so I'm going to give you an answer. Are you ready? Yeah. Is outer space gay or straight? Practically everything we see and measure in space. Not only objects, but temperature size density is on a spectrum so for you to say is the universe gay or straight i'm going to tell you whatever the universe is it's on a spectrum so it's bi you know they had a <laughs> they had my neighborhood, this boy small allen and i mentioned him before he was a he was a not a neighbor but you know could have been a neighbor if he'd have lived closer and he was small i mean damn you could barely he'd play hide and seek for a month six weeks you know, he was the only one, if we were playing hide and seek, you'd see him, you know, get a bunch of food and stuff. Because it was going to be, he's going to be out there for a while. He's so small. He hide in a bird's nest or something. You know, you'd be looking around for everybody and you'd hear somebody fighting with a bird in a tree. And that would be small up there. Just wing the fist with a damn sparrow or a, you know, a daytime nightingale. Because sometimes you see a nightingale gets lost and that bitch is out there during the day. And you're like, damn, this thing, this is a damn pervert. But, uh... Have you ever laid on your back and put your legs in the air while you jerked off? That's like the, <laughs> the fuck is, thing you could do. What the fuck? Never, I would never do that. It sounds like you might have done that. I haven't done that. You want to? No, I don't want to do that, dude. <laughs> but I always like making people laugh. Like, I used to do a yeah. similar thing when I was a child. At the lunch table, we'd get some kids who were mentals, or a couple of them might have been mentals, and a couple kids that were well, you know? And we'd get there and sit them to make them drink milk. And then tell jokes and do stuff and t tell the one of them just blew milk out of their face, you know? And if you get some straight up just a couple minnows, boy, some straight up sawed off humans, you get them to, dude, you get them to straight up blow leche out their dome, dude. What the fuck? That's America right there. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I knew, I was oh, like, oh, man. I got some kind of a gift here, you know? Almost blew, blew the throat out of this. This one boy named Tot, T-O-T -T was his name. <laughs> kind of a bad name, too, to be mentally challenged. <laughs> but also easy for him to spell. And, I'm not joking, that's what his father said. And, um, easy for him to spell backward and forward. Same name, Tot. Him yeah. and Tony Hinchcliffe and Ron White. Oh, Tony's built for it. He looks almost like uh, Pinocchio's old, you know, crazy brother. 
You know what I'm talking about? Pull him up. <laughs> grabbing her cheeks. Yeah. And looking up at, you know, not the sky, but the, the ceiling, mm -hmm. but that God. And I remember going with a tear in my eye. Yeah. And that fills up most of your eye. Because I'm Asian. That's true. Yeah. That's not racist. No, well, people don't think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a tear, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You're a third waterlogged, dude. You're, <laughs> you're halfway through the Titanic movie. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can you think about that? Somebody even invented a chair like a long time ago. Everybody was just standing around. People just standing around like, now what? And then finally, you know, some straight up, I'm going to be honest, hero came along and said, ta-da. It must have been like, uh, like marijuana almost at first. So you've been standing up for years. Your father's been standing up. Your grandfather has great posture. Everybody got posture because they've been standing like a mother. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, some, some beautiful little carpenter, some dirty little wood martyr comes along and just chisels out a damn seat. Mm. I mean, I bet semen just leaks out of your pores. Just that full body coom, you know? Just cooming out of your whole, just out of your pores. Just, <sighs> Going on, man. Not much, really. Um, my cousin got bit by a gay guy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> On his dick. So we'll see, you know. <laughs> Remember when you got the locker at high school and you went up to it and like other kids knew how to open their lockers, but you didn't because this is your first time, but you had to act like you knew, right? Because if somebody saw you not opening your locker, right, then, I mean, this was junior high, you were probably gonna go to hell. Dude, one kid I remember, bro, named Gabe, he got in his locker, and we fucking never saw him again. He just got in there, I'm like, Gabe, what are you doing, dude? He said, I'm trying to get some peace and quiet. I'm like, all right, man, you missing math, but whatever. And then you put some gym clothes in there, and this thing stung. <laughs> I mean, some gym clothes that was real fertile in there. Because this is seventh grade. You guys see, you know, you have body. You sweat. Your, you, even your sweat has probably a little bit of seed in it. A little bit of ejaculate. You put a couple of sweat, you know, shirts in there and this couple dirty socks. You come back a month later, they got six little socks running around. And, you know, put a, maybe throw a little bit of, uh, you know, some bird seed or some pine nuts in there for them for snacks. But yeah, a locker was crazy. I'm hanging on your lips. <laughs> Neighborhood was poor black, poor white. <laughs> you know, my neighborhood was poor black, poor white. That was our neighborhood, you know? So I didn't feel any white privilege. I know Ooh. some people had it, man, you know? I knew some motherfuckers with sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> but I was two tank tops in the winter, okay? Yeah. And I just didn't feel it, you know? I wish I'd have had some white privilege, dude. Sign me up. But I didn't have it, man. It was just poor black kids, poor white kids, man. And my poor black friends would always be like, man, look what you did to us. And I'm like, dude, do you think I would do all that shit to y'all and then move right next door, bro? <laughs> now, we gonna split this plum or not, dog? <laughs> you have an OnlyFans account or no? Nah, man. I, I tend to, I, well... I mean, if 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 you if we're talking about just to watch, yeah. I got on there and then I immediately deleted. I get all nervous. Why? Because you feel like people are gonna know who you are. I feel like that at some point that it's so weird, man. You know, I get on there and like you can even like <laughs> it's weird. People can even trace back how you texted on there, so how you <laughs> yeah. type it. So I try to watch how I type. Sometimes I like to misspell shit on purpose. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, too. bitch, you ain't gonna notice it's me. I'm texting you in real life on my phone. So if I t if I put too many commas and periods, how I put them. You gonna know who the yeah. fuck I am? <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'll be spelling shit all type of. Oh bro. yeah, but I'm sorry. Why, like... why do people use OnlyFans? It's 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 crazy because you can something you can find free on. You know, but yeah. <clears throat> Tips. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with good booty images? <laughs> Who has this guy Larry Reeb has this joke? He said, uh, 
Uh, my wife told me never answer the phone during sex. I said, what if it's you calling? <laughs> It's just an old joke, but I love it. Man. Oh, I loved old. How do you get a dog to stop pumping your leg? Pick them up and blow them. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I love these old jokes. What is okay, What's the worst thing you can hear when you get a prostate exam? Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, the guy, you know, the guy is actually, he's weird. The way he even talks, the way he says his jokes are so weird. And you don't know when the punchline is coming. The last videos, mm -hmm. were they new or old? I think they were new. The ones with the podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah, they were new. But his hairstyle is like 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. She, hey, he looks so old-fashioned. Old fashioned. Yeah, I get it. But yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's just like a very distinct person. Even you can see in his character the way he tells his jokes, the way he lands his jokes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was Theo Vaughn's um, weird jokes. Yeah, and <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Until see you next time. Peace out.